which you guys got another video on how to stop apps from preventing Windows 11 shutting down, just like you can see right on the screen right here. Now it's quite annoying, but it's not actually a bug. It's a safety feature to protect you when you're shutting down Windows, especially if you have something like Microsoft Outlook open and you're shutting down Windows. It will make sure that you want to shut down Windows before you uh, you know, close the application because you might be doing something. So to change this, all you need to do is open up the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box and then we need to navigate to a location inside our registry. So first off, H key underscore current user, that's where we need to go first. And then we're gonna go into control panel and then open this up right here. And we need to then go to desktop. Inside here, we need to have a look for a certain file on the right hand side. If you don't see the file there, then you can create a file by right clicking, going new string value. In this string value, you're going to need to give it a name. So let's go ahead and create a name called Auto End Tasks. All one word like that with some capital letters on it. With that done, you can double click on this and we can give it a value. So let's give it a value by double clicking on the Auto End Tasks. And this is going to basically auto end the tasks on things that are running in the background. So we're going to need to give this a value data of one. And what this will do is it will tell the system to shut down any application that is still running in the background. And it seems to be always things like Outlook and things like that that are running. And it just uh, stops the shutdown process. Next, we're going to add a couple of more string value uh, keys. So I'm going to add another one. And we're going to call this Wait Till Kill App Timeout. So give this the same name that you see on the screen on the bottom right hand corner in purple. Just give that the same name right here. And then we can give this uh, some sort of number. And what this is going to be is seconds to wait to kill the app on a timeout. So we're going to double click on this and we need to give this a value data. So if you said 20 seconds, it will be 20,000. If you say 5,000, it's going to be five seconds. So five seconds should be plenty for it to wait before it shuts down the application. Don't put a too short a value on this because otherwise it will full shut down any application too quickly. Next, we're going to create another string value and it's going to be called hung app timeout. So let me go ahead and create this. And we need to obviously give this another value data as well. And this is going to tell the system that if there's an app that is hung and it's waiting to close down, it will shut it down within five seconds if we give it a string value of 5,000. So that's what we're going to do here. And this counts 5,000 is 5,000 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Double click on it, give it 5,000 right here. And now we've just created three keys that are going to tell the system to wait to kill the app timeout in five seconds, hung apps will time out in five seconds. And also we've got the auto end task in five seconds. These three things will stop the uh, app from stopping you from shutting down and making you do something to shut down the system. Now there's one more that we can change here, which should already be on the system. So let me go ahead and navigate back and start off and go to this next location. So I'm just gonna close these back up here and it's in H key underscore local underscore machine. So let's open this location up here. We're going to go to system, open this one up, navigate down. And what we need to do is go current control set here, open this up here. And next we need to go to control. And once we open this up right here on the right hand side, you will see wait to kill service. Let me just expand this open here so you can see it. So wait to kill service timeout is the one that we're going to change here. Now this is set by default to 5,000, which is five seconds. And we're going to set this to two seconds by changing it to 2,000. And click OK. And hopefully with that set now, any sort of applications or services in the background that are waiting to be closed and stopping you from shutting down your system, these will automatically force it to shut down. So you might need to restart your PC here to cement these settings in place. And once that's done, all of these issues. So by default, 
uh, these are set to 20,000 milliseconds, and that means the system will wait 20 seconds before it shuts down. And this is going to give it plenty of time for the program to close down on its own or for you to react and close it down. So basically what we've done here is bypass that and made it five seconds. And you shouldn't see that message on the screen because it will shut down any service or application and the PC should shut down normally. And I believe that this is just going to stop you from having to wait and then click on a button and have to react to shut down the PC, whereas this will just shut the PC down as it used to back in the old days. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If you're getting this message, let me know in the comment section down below whether it was annoying you like it's annoying me and whether you're going to be doing this little tweak to help resolve that issue. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.